Folks at home, welcome to Tank Tuesday. This is going to be an exciting Tank Tuesday. If you watched last week, we are putting in a 3D aqua decor background in this tank. We got everything set up and ready. This is gonna be an intensive project. First of all, these three are coming out of the tank. Next, we're gonna drain it completely, pull that substrate off the back of the wall, and then it will take 24 hours. We're gonna put in our new 3D background we're gonna have to use silicone, let it cure for 24 hours, and then put the fish back in the tank. So we got a lot to do in this video. In case you're new to the channel, this is our big bluegill named Sheriff and our two pet bass, Clyde and Bonnie. Bonnie and Clyde. All right, and in a 10-gallon minnow tank down here, we got Heisenberg, he's hiding out in his house. He comes out during the daytime. I'm gonna have to start filming more in the daytime because he comes out chasing those minnows around and then he hides at night. And then we got our 55 gallon aquarium with Moby. Don't worry Moby, we're not gonna leave you high and dry. I know we're fixing up the 300 gallon aquarium, so I got a couple of tricks up my sleeve for your 55 gallon aquarium here. But like always, we like to start off our videos feeding Moby a minnow. And he's long and lean these days. Look how big his tail is. He's a little skinny in the midsection. So last episode we fed him two, and I think we're gonna feed him two minnows again. All right Moby, I got two big ones for you this time. I don't know if you're gonna be able to eat them all, but you should be full for quite a while. Dropping them both in at the same time. Got one. He's thinking about the other one. Oh gosh. Look at that. Got some grass in there with it. Moby will eat everything. Oh, he got away and he got him again. So Moby has two minnows in his mouth. All right, while Moby finishes up eating, you can tell in this tank it's starting to look a little bit dusty. We cut our lighting schedule back and we killed off our java moss. That was a mistake. We were trying to get rid of some of the algae and in a planted aquarium, you need the lights to be on a lot. And we cut them back to about three hours a day and our plants really took a hit. I think we're gonna remove some of these rocks. We're gonna put some new plants in and hopefully eventually get some more java moss growing back in the tank. All right, we got Sarah and Liz helping out with our aquascaping. She's doing a good job. We're putting some new plants in here. We got three new species. Liz, what is that one called? Micromeria brownie. Brownie, I like it. Brownie. Two pieces of driftwood and three plants here. I'm about to go in, Moby's gonna get an upgrade. And she is the helper. Sweet girl. <laughs> and here is the after. Not a major upgrade, but we added some new plants. You see there, new plant there, Moby jumping right in the center. And then we added some driftwood. We attached some plants to those. Also to that piece of driftwood and one more plant back there in the back. So not a major tank upgrade like what's going down in the 300 gallon, but Moby's got him some fresh vegetation in here. Just ate two minnows. He and the catfish should be happy. Moby's got a full belly now. Check that out, he ate good tonight. And now that we just put some fresh plants in, one little tip, add some plant food. We like to use that Fluval plant food. It works pretty good. All right, so since we're about to put a lot of stress on these fish, moving them out of the tank, put them in a new home for 24 hours, we have to feed them pretty good. Don't you agree, Sheriff? He agrees. All right, we're gonna dump some minnows in, let them eat good. I'm terrible at this. This is Liz's job. That's what she normally does, and for some reason... <laughs> there we go. Mm, making quick work of them. Top water blow up. There we go. That's what I love seeing. And there we go. It's going down. <laughs> Somebody got it. Alright. That was your last supper, three amigos. When you get back in this tank, you have a brand new setup. We're about to get this thing kicked off. We had some major storms come through last night. You can tell with all the rainwater here. The bass may end up liking some of this rainwater, but I have one glaring issue. Look at the amount of rainwater in that tank and look at it in that tank. We must have a crack or something in that one. So that's our first setback. Looks like I'm gonna have to go get another holding tank. I don't wanna put all three fish in a smaller tank and they may get a little territorial. 
All right, it is time to get this thing started. Let's take a look at our temporary bass tank setup. I've got two separate tanks. We're gonna put Bonnie in this one, Clyde and Sheriff in this one. I've got two 26 gallon filters here, mainly just to keep the water flowing and provide them some oxygen while they're in there overnight. This is connected on the other end to our 300 gallon tank. We're gonna fill both of these tubs up with tank water. That's the water they're used to. All right, this is the last time we'll be seeing this tank like this. I hate to see the bonsai tree and everything go, but we got better things coming. And there we go. We have water flow. This one, our cat buster gets a little crazy. All right, we got Liz in here helping out. You guys haven't seen her in a while. Mm -hmm. And check out this thing she's looking at. So that's the baby in there sleeping. Can't see it that great, but she's being good right now. Letting mama and daddy take care of these fish. All right, we got the water level to where I wanted in both tanks. You can see that they started bowing a little bit, so I didn't want to fill it up much more and have it collapse on me. So we're about to get the filters running and go ahead and start pumping through some of this water. All right, we just got the hood and all the lights off and whew, that thing was heavy. But now we're gonna drain the rest of the water out and then move the fish outdoors. All right, water levels are getting low. It is time to take the fish out. I forgot to mention earlier that we took Larry the lobster out and put him in his own little bucket when we took those wood pieces out. But I think we're going to take Sheriff out first and see how he reacts to the new tank. All right, here we go. get a little bit of sunlight out here. Sun finally came out. Just gonna try to jump it. Alright, who's next? Looks like Clyde. There we go, Bonnie. That wasn't so bad, was it? Mm -hmm. Alright, we got all the fish transferred. We got Chloe here checking them out. She's the one that's always drinking out of their water. Seems like that tank's just big enough for those two. And Bonnie seems to be doing the best out of all of them. She's not really panicking. I got a little camera set up right here. We'll keep an eye on them and watch them to see as this weather changes. When that sun starts setting, it's possible they're gonna get a little sunlight. It's been a long time since they've had real sunlight. All right, this is about to be one of my favorite parts. While we got them in one of these little holding tanks, I wanna do a couple of tests. One of the tests is gonna be to drop some minnows in there with them and see if they eat them. I have a feeling that Sheriff may eat them regardless of this situation. Bonnie and Clyde, I don't think they'll eat any minnows, but I'm gonna drop six in each bucket. All right, first batch going in. Sure's got the spot. Yep. <laughs> He's definitely looking at them. Don't think they really wanna eat them. All right, now it's time to drop Bobby some in. Nope. That was a perfect opportunity for her right there. And she didn't take it. So I'm checking on them about 30 minutes later. They hadn't eaten any of the minnows yet. A lot of them are just hanging out right up under Clyde right there. 
But this is something that's going to be really cool because this is basically simulating them being caught. So whenever we put them back in the big tank, the 300 gallon, I want to see how long it takes before they'll get back to eating like normal. I've heard people, and I've done it myself, catch the same bass twice in one day. So there are some really aggressive species that will eat right away, even after an experience like getting caught. But I think typically it may take a day or two before the fish settle back down. All right, the tank is almost completely out of water. And what I did is I went and pulled the substrate off that back wall to give it room to completely dry out. And that's where the new 3D background will go. And since this is a two day project, I'm gonna break the videos into two separate videos. So today was all about getting the holding tank set up. The next video will be about the installation and show kind of detailed instructions on how we install that new background. Now it is time to do a little bit of a giveaway. Whenever I go to put these fish back in the 300 gallon aquarium, I'm gonna weigh each of them. So the first person to correctly guess the weight of each of these fish is gonna win a prize packet. So I'm giving away three. And the way I want you to guess your weights is in two decimal formats. So if you think Bonnie weighs a pound and three quarters, say 1.75 pounds. If you think Clyde weighs a pound and a half, say 1.50 pounds. Make sure you go to two decimal places. And also it's the first one who gets it correct. So if you're subscribed, make sure to hit that notification bell up there because the early bird guesses are most likely gonna win. And we have a lot more of these giveaways coming up in future videos. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see the finished product next week. See you all next Tank Tuesday. Can tell you people they were the devil's children.